Well, I shaved, so my video review title is a lie. I mean, what's in a name anyway, right? So I suppose you call it Red Face Review with all my razor burn now. The thing that I'm reviewing today is The Clone Wars Episode 5, uh, Rookies. Got it. Got the name. It focuses exclusively on some new clone troopers who just got assigned to guard a base in the Outer Rim. The last line of defense, if the droids ever decide to invade and attack their clone facilities, which would cut off their supply of more dudes, basically. And Commander Cody and Rex. I think he might have been in one of the other episodes. I just remember there being a bald one. And he's the bald one, I guess. The only, the only bald clone in the whole army... Some guy named Rex. But then, like, they, they arrive, and their their names are, let's see, it's Heavy, Knives, and Echo. They arrive there, and the people are just like, oh, you're at the boringest place ever, you know, because we're right in the Outer Rim, where none of the action is. But then the commander shows up, and he's like, this is the most important job, because if they decide a sneak attack, and we're not here, we'll get our clone uh, facility right away, and we'll we'll all lose. It's like right then there's a sneak attack, like a bunch of meteors fall, and some of them are actually droid dropships in disguise. And they have a brand new type of battle droid, ones that are smart and good at their job. It's like, why don't you only use those ones? The three rookies have a plan to blow up the base, because that'll get a warning signal out to the Jedi and they'll send reinforcements. I really like this episode. It felt like it felt like spy stuff. Like after watching the Malevolence saga and everything. And seeing that and just being like, oh, this is how this, this show is going to be. Like, them just suddenly focusing, like, on clones now. Like, none of the Jedi in it. I think Obi-Wan's in it for a bit, but it's like, he's not the main character. It's these three clones. And I think that's a really good idea, too, because the clones aren't safe. And also, like, their characters are really well done. Unlike in the movies where they're just like, hey, we have a bunch of clones. They got a bunch of droids. Just throw them at each other. But, like, the fact that they give everyone their own personalities and everything. And I kind of want, like, them to do that with the other side, too. To see, like, droids and exits. Then we might feel something when either side, like, suddenly dies. I think I mean, having, like, droids, like, call each other names or start being, like, I don't know slightly cooler i guess <laughs> just them being because right now they're just like nameless silly things for the most part except these new battle droids seem pretty cool and this does feel like a real war thing too again like i i, I really hope the focus is mostly on like showing us just different aspects of this war and it doesn't feel like it has to start focusing on any one individual person or anything and actually focusing on i mean i see why the bad batch was made just in the like the clones are probably the most interesting part of this show because everyone else is safe, you know? Like, here are the clones, like, you might start liking... Like, I really like Rex now because he's smart and and seems to be a good tactician. He could die at any time. He could die in this next episode. It, like, gives more weight to the show because, like, these people aren't safe. They don't have plot armor like everyone else does. So I'm really hoping they return, at least, uh... At least Rex, and I know, I mean, we all know Commander Cody. I guess Commander Cody has plot armor, because he's in the movie. These clones um, have kind of become their own entity. Not just, like, nameless soldiers on the battlefield, basically. They've breathed life into what was otherwise lifeless before this. And I think that's really good. That's definitely, yeah, they should keep doing that. So, good episode, 10 out of 10.